I could go on and on. We have seen ISIS level of horror and brutality in Kashmir 30 years before the West was even introduced to the brutalities of radical Islamic terror. I'm glad these hearings are happening today because when my family and I lost our homes, our livelihood, and our way of life, the world remained silent. Where were the advocates of human rights when my rights were taken away? Where were they on the ninth night of 19th January 1990 when there were voices blaring from all mosques in Kashmir that they wanted Kashmir with Hindu women but without Hindu men? Where were the saviors of humanity when my feeble old grandfather stood with two kitchen knives and an old rusted ax ready to kill my mother and I in order to save us from the much worse fate that awaited us if we landed in the hands of terrorists on the same fateful night? My people were given three choices, flee, convert, or die. Around 400,000 Kashmiri Hindus fled right after that night of horror. They survived. Those who didn't were killed. Today, 30 years later, I'm still not welcome in my home in Kashmir. I am not allowed to follow my faith without fear. My house in Kashmir is illegally occupied as those uh, of other countless others in my community. Those that are not occupied have mostly been burned down or are ransacked. Thousands of our temples have been vandalized, desecrated, and lay in ruins. Every effort has been made to eradicate Hinduism from Kashmir. Today, Kashmir is home to only one religion. This is by design and is the ultimate violation of human rights. Diversity and acceptance of different views are not the norm in today's Kashmir. It's not just Hindus that have been ethnically cleansed. cleansed. Six have been massacred. A fatwa was announced against Christian schools in Kashmir, accusing them of luring Muslims to Christianity. What human rights are we talking about when all minorities have either been driven out or silenced? An Islamist state of Kashmir where other religions are not welcome and tolerance of any other viewpoint is absent is no citadel of human rights.